Hi there, this is Ryan with BetterTattooing.com saying cheers to you my friends who've got a crooked tattoo. Alright, now that's done. We get to see this a lot with people who are coming in trying to find new tattoo work, especially when you get towards the parts of the arms, like by the wrists or by the ankles. They think their tattoo is crooked. That's something I try to teach people right from word one, especially new tattoo clients. It's their first tattoo, and you get that great chance of being able to impress upon them certain skills or things to think about before they actually get to tattooing. First things first, before you do a tattoo as a client, you always need to make sure to look before you do the tattoo. Now, this may seem crazy, especially when it's at your first tattoo, because what happens when you get your first tattoo? You think about the tattoo initially, right? Conceptualize, you find the art, art, artwork, reference that you're gonna do, you research stuff, then you commit to getting the tattoo by doing an interview, a consult, setting up stuff, doing whatever you're gonna do to try actually get it, and then you go to get the tattoo. Now nowhere in that normal process, on average in the West, do we see people saying, take your time to make sure that you actually understand what the tattoo is gonna look like before you do it. So what do we do with our clients here? On average, with every client that comes into my shop, or we're gonna be talking to on the phone, via email, via video conference or whatever, I always wanna make sure that they think about the tattoo before we do it. Why do we do that? Because I want them to understand what stresses are gonna be implied, applied to the tattoo before we do it, right? Let's think about these spots on your body that are gonna experience the most amount of stress, right? We have the forearms, we have the back, right? Along the spine trunk torso area, inside thighs, the buttocks, around the kneecaps and around the ankles. Now, all these spots are relatively unique to the person that you are dealing with, but on average, most humans are gonna experience stress the same way. And we get three types of stress, right? The first can be torsional. That's twisting, right? Torsional stress, where things are gonna move rotationally, right? We have like our pulling stress, right? pulling. Now this is where things are going to stretch, right? They're going to move. They're going to stretch. And then we have compressive stress. Uh, stress. Yeah, I know I didn't spell it right. Whatever. Compressive stress is going to be when things move together. So on each part of the body, you're going to get a different type of stress, right? Torsional stress is usually going to happen around like the wrist, usually median line on the forearm down where you can see like if you twist and turn, this amount of skin is gonna end up moving more than others. Compressive stress is gonna usually happen in between, in between a pivot joint on the body, a major muscle group, and another rounded joint on the body as well. A bicep or tricep is usually gonna have compressive or stretching stress. And that, uh, that pulling stress is gonna happen on any longer muscles, right? You'll see this a lot on quadriceps. If you place a stencil while your legs are bent versus when they're straight, you're gonna see two very different things, right? So. Make sure you look before you tattoo. When a stencil is placed, if you're told to sit on a chair or lay on a bed or just stand still and not look at it, tell the artist that you're working with to go to hell. You need to go over to a mirror, try all different angles, stand relaxed, stand up, stand out, flex, not flex, and really see what's going on with the tattoo before you commit to getting it. Because I cannot count the times that I've had people come in with forearm tattoos that they don't know that they're gonna twist heavily when they're actually applied. The tattooer, so I've been told, will have somebody's arm out on an armrest, they'll place the stencil, they'll do it, it looks great, and then they twist their arm and it moves up their arm and it looks crooked. This is something that you figure would be common sense, but since we live in a world where we scroll through social media and everything is just a fixed image where it always looks perfect, people don't think about that in the future how things are gonna look. So if you're a tattooer, take the time, right? Like make sure, you could take it a million times to place a stencil. And as soon as it's perfect and the client's happy with it, that's when you should do it. It may be a waste of your time. These people are gonna be getting something that is permanent. It's gonna last their lifetime. An extra 10 minutes to check on something to make sure that it's perfect is worthwhile. And you can check your torsional, the pulling. I know that's not the right type of stress, eat me or compressive stresses that are gonna be applied to the body and how they're gonna affect the tattoo is gonna be worth it. Just take the time, slow down. You're still gonna make that Skrilla. You're gonna be okay, all right? If you're going paycheck to paycheck, set up a savings account. 
you'll be all right. Make sure you don't use your clients. And clients, make sure that you speak your voice. Be empowered when you go into these places. Now, one last thing before we get into this is if you are a client and you do not want to get into a confrontational space where you're forced to stand up for yourself just because it's not going to be, it's not possible where you live. Maybe the tattoo shops where you're at, the guys or girls or people or whatever, maybe they're all just fucking assholes. That can happen sometimes. Then you need to be empowered to do something yourself. If you're going to be getting a tattoo and you want to see how it's going to be happening or what the stresses are going to be or how big it should be or the shapes or whatever, be empowered. Draw on yourself. Simple. Grab a big pen, grab a Sharpie marker, make sure you're not allergic to them. Please don't just like go out and blindly do anything that somebody says on YouTube. Make some marks. Draw a line. Take your arm, draw a straight line on your arm, and twist it. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo here. Think about it. Do that. Twist it. Go to a mirror. Wear it. I'm going to get a couple flowers and a snake. Cool. I'll have a flower, flower. I'll draw a line for a snake. And I want to go and see it in front of the mirror. Take action. Take control of your body and take control of the experience. Like, be proactive. Perhaps the tattooer that you're working with isn't going to be thinking about these things. Perhaps they're too busy. Perhaps they're having a bad day because they're friggin' human. It doesn't matter. If you're paying someone to get this done, you got to expect the worst. Draw on yourself. Be prepared to look before you tattoo and think before you ink. I hate that saying. Anyways, this is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com signing off.